Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Zoho World with Bitwarden. The first thing I'm going to compare are the pricing plans and then I'm going to compare uh, like how it feels to use Bitwarden and how it feels to use Zoho World. Both of these tools are great and I'm not paid by any of these to say one is better comparing to the other, I'm just going to give you my honest review. Now when you would come here to the Zoho, um, they got free account, also Bitwarden got free account. But what I like in both of these is that you can, it's got mobile access many times uh, like tools are offering you free account but only on one device with Zoho and Bitwarden is different so that's a thumbs up for both of them they are both winners here in free account and you get unlimited uh, passwords and notes same with Bitwarden so Zoho went the same way as a Bitwarden and I love it now when we talk about the premium account the one thing I like is that you get one gigabyte of encrypted file storage in Bitwarden if you want to. And one advantage I see in Bitwarden is that it's open source. So that can be advantage for you too. Uh, now, Wolf Hell reports, password expiration alerts, like priority technical support, and only for like, it's the price is the same. There's like 0 0.80 euro. So that's 10 bucks a year. And this is the same. You can pay it yearly or monthly. But again, it's like same price. And... I don't think it's right to say that, okay, one costs only $10 and the other one costs $12. It's like, same, you know. Uh, I know that it's like expensive, but you know what I mean. It's just not like 50 bucks and 10 bucks. Then you get like professional, uh, which is like minimum five users. And that's a four euro per user. That's like for a team. And that's a business plan. And you get only $3 per user in Bitwarden. So that, like this is pretty much it. Both pricing plans are relatively same and I can say that one is better comparing to the other based on pricing plans. But what can I say is if one is better comparing to the other based on a, how it feels to use them. And I think this is just my perspective is that Bitwarden is better from the U design perspective. So you would come here to passwords. You can see how it feels. Just let's just catch the feel that I feel right now from the Zoho wall. You just add, click add here, site password Unix windows. You click site here. You choose like, I don't know, Google analytics and you add a folder here, username, password, secure notes. All right. Now this is pretty much it, right? And then you get like folders here that you can like, you created one audit of your passwords and everything and settings. You get like show favorite passwords by default, inactivity diamond and setting up everything simple things right so when you would come here to Bitwarden, let me show you it's much prettier in my opinion so you come here you got again all items you got login card identity secure notes it's just more simple it feels you just click here plus you add a name username password and a key url and you got to go now when we talk about you got a card, identity, just everything, right? And folder, just like the usage is the same. The design is different and it's up to you which one you like more. I recommend testing out both and choosing by yourself. But when we go here to mm, Zoho Wild extension, you can see it right here that it got four stars, 66. And when I compare it to extension Chrome, look at this. 2005 stars 700,000 users crazy right so you can see it by yourself in my opinion Bitwarden is winning this battle between these two and I completely understand why it's like it's hard to beat Bitwarden right now in this space thank you very much everybody for watching if you have any questions guys ask me down in the comments I'll be really happy to help you and have a great day and goodbye see ya